Hi everyone and welcome to module 4. In module 4 you're going to be reading chapter 4 and we have quiz number 2. Quiz number 2 will only be covering the information on chapter 4. For chapter 4 this week we're going to be looking at the role of the government and how they get involved with price stability. Now price stability could be either a price floor or price ceiling. A price floor is going to be the government mandated lowest price that can be charged for a good, whereas a price ceiling will be the highest price that can be charged for a good. You'll notice it's very important when we look at price floors and price ceilings to understand why they're established. The main reason why a price floor is established is to, or let me do it this way, a good example of a price floor is agriculture products. Farmers are expecting a certain level or certain price and agriculture products are a very important one. So farmers expect that the price can never go below a certain amount that's established by the government. However, when we look at a price ceiling, that's rent control in New York City. You'll notice that rent control is very expensive in New York City. So you do this rent control to bring about affordable housing. Let me show you a slide right here. Look at this graph right here, and you'll notice in this graph that the equilibrium price for rent is $1,500. Now, that's what everyone could fetch in the market, $1,500. However, the government imposes a price ceiling of $1,000, which means the highest price that can be charged for rent is $1,000, not exceeding that amount. However, the equilibrium is four or $1,500. So you see there's a lot of opportunities for them to charge more. And at $1,000, there are 2.1 million people that want an apartment. However, there's 1.9 units available. So you notice there's a shortage available. And when there's a shortage of apartments, this is gonna create an opportunity for the, for the government to establish or for individuals to find an apartment because that's a very big challenge. So those are just some of the concepts that we're going to be evaluating this week with the role of price ceiling and price floors. Make sure to note on your quiz that you get one attempt, 60 minutes, and 20 questions. And if you have any questions, please let me know, but I look forward to your effort this week.